Hello, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a programming environment on the Windows PC. The first thing you will need is Visual Studio Code. You can go to code.visualstudio.com and you will get this blue button. It should say download for Windows. You'll want to click that. And if it does not say download for Windows, you'll want to click on this drop down arrow and choose the proper installation from the menu below. So I'll click download, take me here, it will start downloading, and then I will be back once it is downloaded. When the download is completed, you will find an executable in your downloads folder. You can either navigate to your downloads folder and double click on this executable to run it, or if you're on Google Chrome, you can just double click the download on the bottom of the page to run the executable. You will need to accept the terms, choose where you wanna download it to. I'm gonna use the default, choose a name for it. I'll use the default. Choose if you want icons. I do want a desktop icon, so I will click this box. And then you'll be brought to this page just to confirm your settings and click install. This will install Visual Studio Code onto your computer. When the installation is completed, click finish. This will launch Visual Studio Code and you will be given a screen that looks just like this. You can choose dark or light mode. I'm going to keep mine in dark mode and then you can exit out of this welcome screen. And this is Visual Studio Code. Next, we will need to be able to compile our programs. So let's come down here to the search bar and we will type in PowerShell and you will get a bunch of things, but this is what you want, is the Windows PowerShell, and you can either right click on it and click run as administrator, or click on the run as administrator over here, but you must run it as an administrator. Click on that, it will ask you to allow this administrator running, click yes, and you will be given a screen that looks just like this. This is the PowerShell, and in here we are gonna type WSL space dash dash install, and hit enter, and allow the WSL to install onto our computer. This will take a little bit of time, and I will be back to you when this is done. When the WSL finishes installing, restart your computer, and then open up the App Store when you are finished restarting, and type Ubuntu into the search bar, hit enter, and the very first app that you see, Ubuntu, you're gonna wanna install this. You won't have an open button, you will have an install button. Just click that and go through the installation, or you can just click the install button right here on the search result page. When Ubuntu is finished downloading, go down to your search bar, type in Ubuntu to the search bar, and click on the very first app that pops up. That will be this, and this will be your Ubuntu Ubuntu command line that you can use. When you start up your Ubuntu for the first time, you will not see exactly what I have. What you will see is a prompt for a username and password. Enter in your username and password that you want to use, and then you will be brought to a prompt that looks not exactly like this, as yours will be tailored to your own computer, but it will be similar to this, where you have a bunch of stuff about your computer over here, a file path, and then a prompt. This Ubuntu terminal will not come with a compiler already installed. So what you're going to want to do, once you are to this command prompt, you are going to need to install a compiler, the GCC compiler. To do that, you first want to type sudo space apt space install space update and hit enter on the keyboard. It'll ask you for your password. Type in your password, hit enter. This may take some time, so just let it do what it needs to do. And then you can install the GCC compiler by saying sudo apt get install g++. Hit enter, allow this to install. You'll wanna hit Y, hit enter, allow this to install. It will install the G++ onto your computer, and I will be back to you when this is done installing. When this is done installing, you can close out of this Ubuntu window. After closing the Ubuntu window, you'll want to search for Visual Studio Code and open up Visual Studio Code. And inside of Visual Studio Code, you will need to link Visual Studio Code to the WSL we just installed. So go to extensions, search WSL, and go to this very first extension. Make sure it is the one that is made by Microsoft and none of these other ones. You want the WSL extension by Microsoft and click install. It will install into your Visual Studio Code. When the WSL extension finishes installing, you can go down to the bottom left-hand corner where there is this little blue button, click it, and then click where this list pops up in the top center on connect to WSL. The page will refresh and you'll see down here that it will load and then it will say WSL Ubuntu. If you click on terminal and go to new terminal, you will now have your WSL 
terminal, the bottom. This WSL window is not connected directly to your computer, so how do you find the files that it's using? Well, it's pretty simple. Open your file explorer. On the side, you should have a drive called Linux. Go to that drive. In that drive, you'll have a directory called Ubuntu. Open that directory. You'll have a bunch of directories inside of here, but the one you want to go to is home, and then you can open up whatever username you used here. And this directory is the directory that you can think of as your desktop directory for the WSL. As you can see, I have this hello.cpp in this directory. And if I come over here, type ls, hit enter, well, I have my hello.cpp over here. You will not get any of these other files or directories up here when you do the ls. That is because all of these files start with a period, and in file systems, when things start with a period, that makes them be a hidden file or directory, so hidden files and directories are not by default shown over here. One last thing you may want to do is install IntelliSense and coloring for C++. To do that, you'll come over here to the extensions bar, and you're going to type in C++. And the very first extension you see, the C slash C++ extension from Microsoft, you want the Microsoft one, you'll install that and it will install onto your computer and give you IntelliSense and coloring for C++. And well, that is how you set up a programming environment using the WSL and Visual Studio Code on Windows. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.